TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here. Today, today's tutorial, Microsoft Word 2010, is going to be about tables. And tables are something that really extends the capabilities of Microsoft Word. Many of you might just use Microsoft Word to type things, but sometimes you want to do more of a little bit of a design of something. And with that in mind, tables is a great way to do that. The best way to show you what tables can be and what they can do is to show you just a real quick example of a table. I'm going to go up and click on the Insert tab, and I'm going to go to where it says Table, and I'm going to click on the drop-down arrow. And you'll notice I have all these boxes right here. Well, what happens is as I bring my pointer down and drag it across these boxes, you're going to see that it's forming columns and rows on my page. So if I go to the right, it's more columns. If I go lower, it's more rows. So what a table is, is really a series of cells that is made up of columns and rows. So I'm just going to click right now and we've just created a table. Now each table has a cell, assuming you have more than one row and one column. You have all these cells that you can click in and you want to think of them as individual little entities. So I think the thing that I most want to impress upon you is that tables are a way of thinking, a way of viewing things and a way of doing things. So after you get acclimated to tables, you're going to start seeing things in terms of tables. Let me give you a couple examples of that. I'm going to come down and click on a Word document I have open called Sample Price List. And what I've done is, let's say you're trying to create a price list, and you've typed across the top product, you hit the Tab key, which is very typical of what people will do. They'll hit the Tab key to sort of tab over to the next stop. They'll type in something else, they'll tab, to retail price and tab over to our price. And when you're putting in apples, everything looks great, everything's aligned, everything looks perfect. But as you start putting in longer product names, you're going to see things get a little crowded. So now you're forced to say, okay, how am I going to make this a little neater to the eye? Pomegranate, really long, it forces the price of $3 over to the right, and everything is out of alignment, nothing's aligned. You'll notice when we come down here to the further point our price, the decimal points are not aligned. Now that's just a sort of a cosmetic or a look, but it's something that might be important to you. So these are things, the little things that when I use tables I take into account. Long words like pomegranate again create issues. Let's go one more example. And probably the best way I can describe tables is you need to look at things and think of them in terms of rows and columns. A calendar, in my opinion, is a great way to envision what a table could be. Try to imagine for a moment that you decided you want to create a calendar. Just as an example, well, as I look at this calendar, I look at it and I don't see a calendar in as it pertains to creating a calendar in Word, I see rows and I also see columns. So across the top, January is my first row. The days of the week is my second row. The first set of days, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. So in this particular calendar, I see nine rows and I also see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. So this would be a nine by seven table. Quite often when people are working with this, I often recommend throw in a couple extra rows. Columns, you know, you're a little bit restricted because the page is only so wide, but you can add rows, that's not a problem. So if you're going to do a 9 by 7 table, I might even suggest you do a 12 by 7 table. It doesn't hurt to add in a little bit of extra space. That's just not an issue. So in a nutshell, when you're looking at using a table, what you should have occur is after you've started using tables and you get a little bit acclimated to them, anything you do in the future, any of the work you're going to do and you want to do in Microsoft Word, envision it in a table. Sort of lay it out either on a paper or in your mind and say, okay, how many columns, how many rows do I need and how does that work? In upcoming tutorials, we're going to talk about manipulating the tables a little bit. We're going to talk about things like adding colors, merging some cells, putting tables within tables. We're going to talk about a lot of different things. 
but tables is something that you really want to learn about in Microsoft Word. My name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you so very much. Have a great day.